Thank you so much for joining us on this talk on the First of Hope show. Or if you're listening on the um, replay and you're listening to us on YouTube or any one of the media that we're on, we're so grateful that you're able to, to connect with us and to join us. And if you're listening for the very first time, check us out and see what we're doing around there. And if you like what we're doing, we invite you to, to come back again and to you know be with us and see where you can learn. Um, or if you learn anything, you know, share the share the video. If you're um, just come upon it, you share it. And we're so glad that you're able to tune in with us, right? Because every every ounce of encouragement is necessary in this time. And that's what the goal of Vice Voice of Hope show is, is to inspire you, is to share stories that will inspire something inside of you to get up and to make an impact, right? To change your life, to change the things that's not working for you. So I pray that something that you will hear will inspire you. And if you um, if you have us in your car, in your home, we're so grateful that you give us such an opportunity to share as we step up and be bold, right? Because that's what I want to share on this chat with you. So the question I want to pose, I want to, so first of all, I'm going to pose a question to you. I'm going to share with you two animals that really inspires me in my life and in my walk as a child of the most I got. I want to, to share those two animals with you. I know sometimes things look simple, but the simplest things in our lives can create such a beautiful, beautiful impact, right? One of the things that I love you know, I've been oftentimes been reminded of is that God wastes nothing about us. He doesn't waste nothing where our life is concerned. He doesn't waste the challenges, the tears. He doesn't waste um, the heartaches. Can we just say nothing? He wastes nothing where you are concerned. Not even your tears. There's a scripture that says he collects the tears in, in jars. So that's so critical, that's so important you are. So we're grateful that you, you join us on this, on this conversation. So I wanna po I'm gonna pose a question to you. I'm gonna share those two animals that really inspires my walk. And I wanna share with you that there's a course that's in the making. Uh, these pieces are still not together yet. We're just waiting on the Holy Spirit and taking small steps as he reveal, uh, you know, pieces of information, right? So if we know the Holy Spirit work, we have to, he shows us something, we have to take a step. And we take that one step in faith and then he's revealed to us. So here's the question. What's preventing you or us from being bold? What's preventing you from being bold? What preventing you from being bold about who you are? What's preventing you from being bold in the word of God? What's preventing you? And I know you might say, but nothing is preventing me. So if nothing is preventing you, why aren't we standing up more boldly, right? Why are we walking more boldly? Why are we, why are we sharing the word more boldly? Why aren't we declaring what we believe in? Why aren't we doing that? So therefore, I'm seeing the emails. I'm getting some of the questions, right? So I, you know, I'm like, I'm a, I'm a privileged to ask this question because we see and we hear the, 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 the stories all the time, right? We hear them all the time. We see the fear coming through the conversation. We hear people saying, you know, I, I can't do that. I was just talking to a woman 
this week and she finished up her ministerial trainings and she said, you know, I have some assignments to do, but I'm afraid to take the next step. I'm afraid to take the next step so she can finish up, you know, the, the, the practical um, assignments that she was given. And my question is why? Why? So the two, the two animals that really inspires me are the, one is the, the lion. And if you're seeing me on, on video, if you're watching on YouTube, I was hoping to go live on that, but okay, let's just talk with you because you're here. So the lion inspires me. And the next one is the eagle. The eagle then inspires me a lot. And so, as I said, there's a training coming up and the pieces are going to come together as the Holy Spirit unfold. So I want you to stick with us. I want you to come back. I want you to look out because if you are that person out there and you're not walking in the boldness, you're feeling timid, timid and fearful of even speaking up for yourself much more, you know, to speak up for someone else, you know, because if we can do that for ourselves, we can't truly do it for anyone else right so if you're that person and you know that this would benefit you you keep watching you keep listening in because i believe this is going to be powerful right this course that we are that's in the pipeline I'm not sure um, i have a name already but we're we're just we're just taking it slow right now so what's keeping you back from being bold and the first one I want to share with you is, is, the, is, the, is the lion. And let me give you a, a little backstory, right? This month of August, whether you're listening on the replay, whether you're listening years to come, today on my side, it's August 26, 2022. This is my birth month. And I was born August the 1st. And I decided this month I'm gonna I'm gonna celebrate the entire month of August. I'm like, I'm just I'm just I'm just going all out because I love the month of August and I love the fact that there's a lion which is the like associated with the the um the month of August, right? Don't know much about the zodiac stuff, but the month, the birth month, you know, is represented by the lion. I don't know anything about the back story of that. But I love the lion because he's fearless, he's bold, he's strong. He's like the king of the jungle, <laughs> right? The lion is beautiful. I love the colors. You know, it's just nice, beautiful, brownish, yellowish color. You know, you have this huge paw, his tail is something to behold. He can look nice and calm and, and, and relaxing and, you know, fearless and, you know, just going to go pet him and all of those little stuff. But line have another side of him that if you mess with his cubs, if you mess with him too hard, he's going to be furious, right? So I love, love the, the lion. So when I talk about the lion and, and, and you know, the lion is bold, right? I think about the scripture in Proverbs 28 and one, that it says, the wicked flee when no man part, uh, pursue it, but the righteous are bold as a lion. The, I mean, if you could see the picture, I have a picture on, it on my screen, a screensaver as a, as a lion and I'm pointing to it. I mean, Roman trying to rub the paws, but the lion uh, is, um, but the righteous are bold as a lion. So what's preventing us from being bold is my question. Something got to be preventing us from walking into this boldness that God has given us. What is preventing us from being as bold as a lion? You know, everybody can can see and, and relate to this 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 um this simulation that I'm making I'm making and this likeness. Because I know I'm, I'm not the only one out there who 
uh, was born in the month of August. And if you are celebrating your birthday today, or if you celebrate the first, happy birthday to you. And you know what? We're taking it, we're taking all the months. We're taking it, we're celebrating it for every day, right? So happy birthday to you. But what prevents us from being bold? You know, the scripture tells us in Proverbs, right? But the righteous are bold as a lion. I can actually see my question being answered right here, but we're not trying to answer the question right now. We're gonna answer the question throughout and that's where the course is gonna come in, right? And then that's where you're gonna come in because you're gonna know and you're gonna see yourself and you're gonna be awake, awakened. You're gonna be inspired to know that if that's you, is that you? Know that you're supposed to be bold, but you're feeling timid and fearful. I mean, you might not be an August girl or August guy, but are you bold? Can you boldly stand up and say, Jesus is Lord? Can you comfortably stand up and say, I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus? If that's you and you can do that more boldness to you, that means you're how you're stepping up and standing up and being and doing and making a difference and being the light of this world and the salt of this earth. So the, 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 the lion speaks to me greatly. When we think about lion, we think about the lion of the tribe of Judah. We think about God, right? He can be calm. He can be angry, roaring. Sometimes I feel like that. Sometimes I feel calm and sometimes I can feel like, yeah, this righteous anger just comes up, right? When you see your people not walking in, in, in this boldness, this confidence, I couldn't even think about a, a, a time when doctors tell parents like me to terminate their pregnancies because a child, the child was going to be born with a developmental diagnosis. It meant something roar inside of me when I heard that. And that's why we're on the journey that we're on right now. To use Voice of Hope Show to inspire and to encourage our people to stand up in this boldness and not be fearful, right? So that scripture stands out to me. And it feels like it will always be this kind of, you know, that kind of courage and that strength that pop popping up constantly on the on the on the inside of me, right? Bold, the righteous are bold as a lion. Why aren't we bold as that lion? And everybody know the lion story. We we'll watch the movies. We we'll watch we we'll watch the, um, the 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 documentaries, and we see the lion at play. We see how we treat, treat the cubs, right? Bold as a lion. Is that, is that what you are? Hmm? And it doesn't stop there. We think about another um, scripture that comes to mind is 2 Timothy 1, verse 7. And you can read them in the translation that you want. I'm reading 2 Timothy in the Good News translation. And 2 Timothy says, for the spirit that God has given us does not make us timid. Instead, his spirit fills us with power, love, and self-control. His spirit doesn't make us timid. So if we're not bold, we're acting timid. Can you see that in you? Can you see that timidity in you? He didn't give us no timidity. Give us a spirit of boldness. And you know, there's a kind of boldness inside of us that you probably might see in a, in a child, and you might, um, you might, you might call it feistiness. You know, for me, it was I was called you know feisty and rude and all of those stuff. But I didn't know any filter. I didn't have no filter when it comes to boldness and fearfulness and just, you know, as is. This is the truth and this is how I speak the truth, right? 
but it takes your environment to help you to either close the door on boldness or to damn it down so low that you never even see it again. But I'm so grateful that I never lose it all. <laughs> How about you? Were you told that? You were too feisty. You were too bold. It was just a little bit too brave. You know, she was a brave one. She was going to, you know, go inquire and everything. But think about, think about the lion. Is there any fairness or fearfulness in this, in this one guy here behind me, in this picture here? And if you, I mean, this is, this is actually on Spotify, you can, you will get, be able to go and see the video on Spotify. I'll put the video on Spotify. You can see it over there. But on Anchor, you'll see the audio. And then I'll try and put the video over there on YouTube so you can go over there and watch YouTube. If you're just joining me, thank you so much for listening to Voice of Hope show with Marsha Wygum. And on this conversation, we're asking the question, are you, what's stopping you from being bold? from being bold about the word of God, from being bold about declaring who you are in Christ, from being bold in standing up and speaking the truth. What's stopping you? And that's what we're going to explore. And as we said before, that there's going to be a course coming up and um, there's going to be a lot of pieces working out with the Holy Spirit because I know that there's people that need to know what's stopping me. And when we can know what's stopping us, then we can turn and do better because we know that God, the scripture tells us that he has not given us a spirit of um, timidity, but of boldness, right? So I'm so grateful that, that you're, you share this video with someone, share this audio with someone because it's, 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 like, a, it's like a pandemic, the spirit of fear and timidity. Why are we timid and not walking in his boldness when he said that he gave us a spirit of boldness and not timidity? The, the second, so I, I share that, that so it's two animals that uh, really inspires me, the lion and the other one is the eagle, right? So let me, let me shift the picture to the um, to the bald eagle because the bald eagle really speaks to me. All right, here we go. So if you're watching on video, you're going to be able to to see the bald eagle. And so go over to YouTube and you will get a chance to see it and post the video. Or if not, just listening. In. So here's the bald eagle right there. It speaks to me so much. The backstory behind the bald eagle is when I was a teenager growing up, you know, parents, as parents, we always have a lot of challenges because I think some of the challenges come from not understanding that you don't compare your kids, right? And the spirit of boldness that's in them, because as a, as a child, they aren't filtered, right? Until the environment, dams it down they, we are unfiltered and I was an unfiltered teen can I say that yes I can because I'm being truthful so the backstory about the eagle when it inspires me is it was very it was a very challenging time when I ate the teenage years not because I was doing some things where I can't say no I was really ashamed of this now as an adult and, a, and as a mom so I had a chance of going to um, speaking with my my pastor one day. My mother said, you know, you got to go speak to um, Bishop because this is just getting out of hand, you know, whatever she was perceiving at the time. I know it wasn't boys and, and all of those kind of things, but she just couldn't, I don't think she understand me. But anyway, we go to Bishop and I talked to Bishop and I said, you know, this, my mother sent me to you and, you know, she wanted to talk to, talk, to, talk to you and, and so on. And he said, you know, I want you to really look at the life of the eagle and the lifestyle and the ways of the eagle. The eagle have a way of renewing 
its strength, its life, its lifespan. He said the eagle beats off his beak because when he get old, you know, that beak can't serve him no more. And if, he, if his beak is not working, then he ain't going to be eating nothing, right? Can't be hunting, can't be picking up anything. So the eagle beats off. Before he go lie down and die and give up, he beats off that beak. And as a result, it grows back. And when, he, when that beak is beaten off, then he can, you know, he remove his, um, his, his, his nails and then he remove the wings, the feathers, and he renews, renew his life. I want you to think about the eagle. But as a, you know, as a teen, I wasn't even too concerned. You know, I got to him and, and that's that. But it's the, just the fact that I went to him and, I, and he, he talked to me, that part of, is still clear in my, in my brain. And he talked about the eagle. That part still is clear in my brain. But I know it's me who have to go do the research now. So I was like, get material and get, you know, wiser. I started to really lean into the eagle and the eagle life and how, how does he function, right? So let's look at a, a scripture that stands out to me with what the eagle is concerned. Thank you so much for joining the Voice of Hope show. We listen to Marsha Wagon and we're posing the question, what's preventing us from being bold and walking the spirit of boldness? So let's look at Isaiah 40, um, verses 31. It says, but those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength and they shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not weary and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. I'm moving so you can see the bald eagle. So there's something about waiting upon God. And as he told me, he said, I want you to wait upon him. So did the eagle. Beat that old beak off. Renew yourself. Right? And I know that there's something about that. So it started to become, you know, very apparent to me as the years go by. So they that wait upon the Lord, they shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. There's something about waiting upon God. There's something about having a relationship with him. So you know that when you're waiting, you're waiting, right? So we know who he is. So we know what are the requirements in walking with him. What is needed to walk in this boldness? Because if we don't know him, if we can't wait, if we're not waiting upon him, we're going to have like boldness problem, right? So I really, I really love, love this, this scripture. Isaiah 40 and 31. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. As you know, the, the, the eagle have a very big wings, um, wing, wingspan. And can you imagine you waiting, you walking in your boldness, you relying on God as your source, and you receiving these wings, you soaring to heights. And if you, you know, as we study the story with the eagle, we're not trying going into the whole story, the whole story, we're just giving a little backstory as to why I, you know, he speaks to me. But can you can you see? The story, and you go, you can start by going, go, go listen to the story and, and read up some stuff about the eagle. That the eagle uses the storms of life to rise. He loves when the storm is coming because it propels, right? The eagle doesn't eat steel food, fresh meat. The eagle doesn't hang out with birds that's not his kind. Very peculiar, right? So you are a peculiar, set apart, a one of a kind child. So the question is why aren't, what's preventing us from walking in this boldness? Though if we wait 
on the Lord, though having a relationship with him are, you know, are key ingredients to, to, to this boldness. But what's preventing us from soaring? That the ego, right? Though we're set apart, though we are one of a kind, what's stopping us is the question. Because you know, I know that we can find uh, streaks in us that says, you know, man, I'm so, I'm so afraid of that. I, ca I can't do that. This is not something I can do. But though we have a spirit of boldness and that timidity, we're still not experiencing that, that boldness. And that's why I wanted to keep looking out for the course that we're putting together with the Holy Spirit, not of ourselves, right? So another scripture that, that stands out when I think about uh, the ego is Psalms 103. Psalms 103 and verse 5. It says, he fills, he fills my life with good things so that I stay young and strong like an eagle. So though he fills a life with, um, with good things, right, as the scripture says, so that I stay young and strong like an eagle. So why aren't we experiencing that? What's preventing us? And if you look at the story of the eagle, it's a one of a kind bird. It's so unique. And countries like America uses it and its emblem. You know, I was looking over a book for the kids recently, because as we take, we care for, you know, we educate our kids at home and, you know, we expose them to various literature. My husband is the, is the history guy. So he is the one who you know, goes searching. For the story. Okay, take your money, come here. And, <laughs> and there goes her son. Um, so go find the, the books with the, with the stories and the history. And I was studying, the, you know, the book recently because, like, you know, preparing the lesson for the kids. And I was looking, and they're the eagle, the body eagle. And they have different things that he's doing with his feet, right? He has this, um, what we call this, the shield at the front of uh, his breast and the, and the American emblem. He has one in one of his, 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 his feet was holding some arrows and the other one he was holding the olive branches. I was reading that and I was like, wow. I never read into it like this before. So the eagle is a one of a kind set apart, right? I'm not calling you an eagle. I ain't calling you a lion, right? But we are saying you're gonna use and you're gonna see the characteristics of these, uh, these powerful animals that leads, that lead their kind, right? What's stopping you from walking in this boldness? What's stopping you from being fearless? about who God is. We ain't gonna try to answer the question right now, we said, but over the course, we are going to come through to the answer. And my prayer is that you will be inspired and that you will uh, see yourself as bold as a lion. See yourself as set apart. See yourself as being able to wait upon God and. And, and, and renew your strength with, in spite of the challenges when they come. See yourself as unique, right? See yourself as love. See yourself as an example to this world. Well, I'm so happy that you will take your time out to listen to this question and these few backstories, few, you know, like backstory of the question as to what preventing us, what is preventing us from being bold, right? And how the two birds, the lion and the eagle, absolutely inspires me. And a small backstory that, that's behind that.
I'm going to listen out for the train that's coming up. And if you can see yourself as, you know, you know what, I absolutely, I could see myself being fearful of telling people about Christ. I could see myself uh, of being ashamed of standing up and saying, I am a child of the most high God. The only one and true God, because he said it in his word. And he is not a man, so he cannot lie. And he's faithful, right? I'm so grateful that you're here and you're listening to Voice of Hope Show. I want to ins- continue to inspire you with stories, with messages to help you on your rise. And when you rise, you know what scripture says? When you rise, it's my prayer that you will stand faith, you'll wait upon God, and you will continue to soar. Because he will lift you up and cause you to soar on wings like eagles. My God, that's absolutely powerful. And remember, he did not give you a spirit of timidity, but a spirit of boldness. I want to hear from you. I want to email us, follow us on different platforms for more encouragement and inspiration. And if you have a story that you want to share because you have gone through something and you have some lessons that you know someone else is going to benefit benefit from we want to hear from you we want to share it we want to have you on the show sharing your message of inspiration and if you're a parent and you just got a diagnosis that your child's going to be born with a developmental diagnosis i want to encourage you to reach out to us send us an email dm us we are on we are on um, basically all the mediums we are out here and face uh facebook marsha weigum on Instagram, reach out. We are on TikTok too. We want to hear from you. Be encouraged. And I would encourage you to seek God's heart. Because the word says that I, he said that he knows the plan that he has for you. Plan to give you a future and all. He also said that he knew you before he was born. He was formed in your mother's womb. And if he did knew you, he knew your child too. Until next time, Masha says, keep on soaring and keep listening in because we are coming with a course to help you discover why aren't you walking in that boldness as you are to, as Christ meant for you to. Until next time, keep soaring.